Vine's got the team whipped up here. Jay Vine, of course, in the Oka jersey. Yates is being brought to our left of our picture. The race leaders sprint. Amazing, but look at Jay Vine. Well, that's putting now into third place in the white jersey. Hey everybody, we're here in Walanga, stage four of the men's tour down under 2023. This is the second to last stage, and today they're doing 135 kilometers, doing a round from Port Walanga all the way here to the Walanga Township, just going around. I think they're doing three circuits around. Now it's mostly flat, there's not a lot of climbing, so it's one for the sprinters today. And we saw them down in the Clarence. Vale. This is a big wine region down here. So the other day we were up in the Barossa. This is the other major wine region here in South Australia. Usually, this is a really strange thing, I'm not sure why, but usually the race finishes up Wollonga Hill, which is just up here, but they're not doing that this year. The feature climb is at Mount Lofty tomorrow, which is great because it's my stomping ground, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. But soon they're going to be coming up here. We're 500 metres from the finish line. They're going to come around this corner into a headwind. The teammate to get involved on your behalf to try. Now I was I cycled here and came and coming from um, Seaford all the way. It's like a crazy headwind. It's crazy. So from the Carnival up to here, it was just like Phew. so. I this is crazy. I'm going to go to this massive headwind. Let's go see who's going to win this stage four. <laughs> It's chaos here, it's absolute chaos. There's more chaos than any of the other places that we've been to watch it. It's crazy, there's so many people here all along the main Wollonga street. The course we had today was definitely not my happy place, but um, yeah, I've got a really good group of guys that kept me at the front all day, and yeah, it was it was pretty tough out there, but you know we got through unscathed, and yeah, we're ready for the the final dance tomorrow. My last question: How good has it been here for you this week? Enjoying the crowds, Santos to it out under is back. I feel like it's back to its best. How good has it been for you to be able to ride around home roads in Australia? Well, yeah, I can't comment on what it was before because I'd ever participated, but, you know, it's, it's been fantastic riding around and hearing hearing all the crowds and seeing all the people on the side of the road. It's, you know, everyone speaking English and, you know, being able to understand what people are yelling at you. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty special, uh, you know. It, not, nothing, not that I've got anything against uh, other languages, but, you know, it's, it's nice to hear at the home, the home crowds. Good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a send-off and a big pump up for tomorrow. Jay Vine, well done Jay. He's in the Santos Oka leaders jersey with a day to go. What an intense finish. They sprinted up there into a headwind and they sprinted across that, that finish line. There's this exhilarating feeling in the air and everyone's like, yeah! And it's so cool, it's so close. One more stage to go tomorrow. Vine is leading at the moment and we've got one more stage tomorrow and it's up Mount Lofty, it's the feature climb and he's a climber, he did so well on Corkscrew yesterday and so I reckon Vine. <laughs> let's see how they go tomorrow, last day of the tour down under 2023 and it's going to be epic, it's going to be epic.
lofty, stomping ground, and I love the climbing. All right, time to go home. Okay, what's the fuck? What's the fuck?